Let's know Total War here with part 10 of my Total War Warhammer Let's Play campaign as uh, the Dwarves. Previously we conquered Karak eight, 8 Peaks, which was pretty well defended, but we only lost like 50 men. All of which, well most of which have recovered. Well wait, was it like 90? Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, now we need to take this settlement here, which is also walled up. But that's okay, it shouldn't be quite as dangerous as the previous one. The thing is with this army, it's designed specifically for assaulting settlements. It's not going to be very good at defending against an old melee army out in the field. So you need to take that into consideration. But that being said, I haven't seen any orc armies around here in a while. Setting up over here seems best. Let me just see on the side. Hard to tell, but I th think I would be within range. Um, stand there. I guess just try and keep them on the side. It's only going to be arrows in here. If we lose a few minutes, nothing to the world. Hmm, we can actually avoid them for the most part if we just put these guys over here a bit. Lost a few men, nothing, nothing major. You probably should, don't need to stay here now. So I reckon from here on out the battle's gonna go quite well. Do I need to destroy this one as well? Probably not. No, I don't think there's any need. We just need to avoid like maybe let's see that general area from here onwards. We should have plenty of ammunition to wipe these guys out without running out of ammo. section of wall should we blow up? I mean, they're, they're standing here right now, but they'll probably end up moving. I don't think I'll worry about it just yet. Yeah, you can start shooting now, it's fine. Maybe get a bit closer. Well, I don't think there's a need for that, because they've got archers of their own. We should be able to outrange them. Because I think crossbows have greater range than than archers in this game, which 
doesn't really make sense, but whatever. Good, another one worked. Um, there's not much to these battles now. Well, after you get rid of this and come at them from here, then it's just just a matter of patience. See where their their troops are. Oh, I don't want to get too close to this. So where the fuck did they go? I'll use you to go scout them out. Okay, there we are. This is not really the best place to be shooting them from because of um this here, it obscures their vision. Also, yeah, also blocks their shots, because the hitbox is much bigger than what is actually here. This, it really does actually look like a piece of shit. Yeah, get more of it this way. Okay, gotta be careful though. Their tower is active. Maybe I should blow that up. Yeah, just do it. We'll have enough ammunition to blow through a section of wall. We only need to blow up one. Okay, they need to get further back. They're not shooting properly. They're shooting it. They're not shooting it at an angle. They need to shoot at an angle if they want to do damage. I think I just saw more guys about to come up here. Surely they're going to bring more guys up there. I know they don't have a big garrison, but they'll bring them up. It's nearly destroyed. They can get a bit closer. This is the same tool that was there before. Oh, hang on, here comes some goblin archers. Dog. 
That's sort of kicking your ass a little bit there. Shoot him. Yeah, that's much better. Alright, I think I'll blow up this section here. That's sort of not even facing us. Troops up here. Shooting down here. Uh, Reform. This stuff here. Those goblin archers are back. Well, shoot them. Got some more in you to block this section? Probably not. Just try anyway. And of course, there's the goblin wolf riders, archers, whatever. Um, you can hit them from there. They can, very nice. Didn't even have close to enough ammunition to destroy this section. Right, I think I'll bring these guys in a bit closer now. You guys actually, I think you need to stand back a little bit. Should have plenty of ammunition to finish this off. There, there shouldn't be that many left. There are. There, there should get the army loss penalty fairly soon. Which just, you know, breaks all their units. Okay, this guy's out of ammo. That's fine, you can 
Go stand back. They did their worth. As long as they do that, then I'm happy. If you were to just go in by yourself, I reckon you could kill a heap load of them. Thing is, we need visibility. What are these? Oh, boys. Um. I just want you to stand there, that's it. I'll just look at them. Just be a spotter for us. Okay, they're getting shot by these archers. Let's put a stop to that. Notice that they can't sort of hit the ones that are really close to the walls. They've still got some more goblin archers. These guys here will break soon. Another one's out of ammo. Wait, you can't fucking see the guy, it's right in front of you. Well, whatever. You just shoot it, whatever you want, you got plenty of ammo, just shoot. These guys won't have a go at me. No problem. The angle's not being shot very well. You have to get further back. Okay, that should shoot a lot better. There we go. You're out of ammo. Piss off, then. Shadow them. Surely the uh, it's called that penalty will be applied soon. Right. Once you get into the fight, they're not going to last long. Is there anything else around here? I don't think so. Here. You just need to kill these two wolf riders here, but the problem is we can't bloody catch them. We need to shoot them.
Okay, there we go. I think we're done. Well, they shattered. What, what else is left? Must be someone hiding over here that hasn't routed yet. These are... Oh, hang on, they've still got more stuff over here. They've actually still got quite a lot of stuff. Oh, they've got trolls. Yeah, you better get the fuck out of there. Come on, you moron, get out of there. Stand and fight. The hopefully our archers can break them before you die. They've got him surrounded there. He's fucking stuck. Just too fat. The trolls are dying faster than okay, he's about to break. My guy that is. Which is fine, as long as he doesn't die. They they actually did break. they don't come back. I'm surprised they've still got so many troops left. Didn't expect that. Alright. You guys come over here. I want someone to bash down this gate. They're coming back. Keep shooting them until they, they fucking shatter or something. Just get rid of these bastards. Didn't think they had this many men left over. It's actually not going. I mean, it's going well, but it's not going as well as, you know, the previous battle. That being said, the casualties are a little bit more evenly distributed, somewhat. The thing is, though, him taking damage, that means, you know, next time we go up against the wall settlement, if he doesn't fully recover, it'll be harder for him. Okay, I just want you to come over here and just keep an eye on those guys here so we can just shoot over the wall and, and get them. I'm sure that they'll break a bit. Maybe if we get rid of one more battalion. It's risky though. But like I said, this guy is immortal, even if he does end up getting wounded. He just won't get any experience from the fight, that's all. Okay, stay put, stay right there. Okay, if you're gonna shoot anything, shoot those fucking trolls. And now they're about to shatter. We're shooting our own fucking king there. Barely even need to do, do any damage to them. Because the battle went so badly for them, they just give up. We got two full battalions there that did nothing. That one did. Most of them did nothing, but they didn't even get shot. He's not in good shape, but you know, he'll heal. Good, level up means more health for you. There's not that much money from looting it, so let's occupy it. Sure enough. 
Now let's see how many of those buildings actually remain. Good, at least we get to maintain the wall there. That's that's really something that I didn't want to keep. Well, we we need the second wall, but it's it always knocks down to the level one. Maybe I should have looted it, I don't know. Alright, so what do we get here? Yeah, drinking market sounds good. Yes. So an additional fourteen percent health. So at the moment his max health is six one four six. We grab that and it goes up to six eight eight seven. So that's an extra like seven hundred. Which is not too bad. It all adds up. Makes him a lot stronger. Cause the last thing we need is our is our one king getting wounded in battle. Um, the longer we can last in a fight, the better. My axe thirsts for war. Summon me. And you just need to stay there until this is built, which will be four turns. All right, I've got quite a lot of money. The thing is, I could raise another army, but there's no. There's no, like, dire need for it right now. And I could certainly use some time to save up some cash. Alright, what else was I going to build here? That wasn't part of the plan. No, this one here was. Wait, do I... Let me just see here. Because if I get this, then I can get iron breakers. But do I need iron breakers? The hammerers were shit. It would enable runesmith, but the, the other runesmith, it's not particularly good. Global recruitment capacity plus one. That's all pretty useful, since I do recruit from this region. Um, yeah, I think that's important. Plus we can also destroy this as soon as we get that two extra growth and we can get another build slot there for something. So, we'll figure it out. I guess that wouldn't hurt. And let's move on to the... Oh, hang on, before we do that, let me check diplomacy. Let's see what we can do. So, we're allied with these guys. We've got a war target. Oh, right. Um, they're doomed. I don't give a shit about them if they're doomed. Greetings. We may not be the Empire. How is it that my strength rank keeps going down? Oh, probably because I'm not raising any new armies. But then again, we keep getting more territory, but who cares. Moving on. We haven't had a grudge in a while. No one's, no one's done anything to us. I forgot to move him. It's alright. I'm pretty sure agents are pretty much invincible if they're in the water. So if you ever need... Then, with that being said, they, they are totally useless in the water as well. But agents can't do agent actions on the water. Yes, we want migration. Public water is not a big issue at the moment. So what happened here? Is that under siege? Yeah, okay good. Let's just keep them busy now. They've definitely got another army around here somewhere. What's going on here? These are dwarves. Why are you bothering with that, you idiots? So I'm gonna need you to go around Estalia. Estalia, I think, is these three regions here. And go and find the, um... What's it called? Um, Bretonian factions. Paravon. Those fuckers. I forget all their names. Yes. Alright, three turns and then you're defensible. What do we need here? I don't know, we don't need any more public order, it's fine. 
The only reason he's there is to defend it against orcs. I don't have any more money. Oh shit. Um, who's this? Grimgor Ironheart. He's he surprised me, but for the most part, um, he can't he can't take Mount Squeakhorn. Not with a full stack. Or not with one full stack, I should say. However, this region here is not defended. If he starts coming down this way, we'll need to move you over here. Can you get there in a single turn? No. Maybe time to raise another army. Let me just see. At Mount Squighorn here, what are, what are our defenses? It's f uh, 14... No, hang on. 13 units because it's 7 per, per line. So it's... The thing is, the towers would do the majority of the damage. So he's already got Gitsnik. I'm just thinking of whether or not we should actually um, hire another army. I think it's I think it's time. Well, I've got the money for it, so let's have a look here. Someone good, please. This guy sends all right. So he's going to increase total upkeep, estimated by that much, plus his own upkeep, which will be 250. So see, made a bit of a difference. All right, I don't have much money. Okay, hang on. Let's um. Cancel something that's not urgent. That is urgent. That's not 100% urgent. I need the money so we can deal with him. Now the best thing to, to handle him would be um, quarrelers. Put them up on the wall and so shoot down at them as they try and get through. I don't think he can make it there in a single turn, but I'm not sure. What about iron breakers? Oh, no, no, they're long beards. Um, don't have iron breakers yet. Gonna mm. get three. Hopefully, that can get recruited. But yeah, we've got to be very careful for this settlement here because it's not defended yet. We're still waiting on... Oh, we've got enough money to, to build that. Um, shit. It's one or the other. Well, let's get that one done. Because that will at least provide me with a bit of money. And, and after all, this one is better defended. Anyway, there's no armies down here. If they're going to come from anywhere, it's going to come from the north, that's right. Ah, oh, crap, they've, they've been killing the dwarves up that way. Make your proposal. My long beards grumble. So, there are still four factions left. I'm not even going to count them. Four dwarven factions left. These guys here are at war with the Empire. Hang on, they're not anymore. Just um, border princes, which is why they hate me. Now, I want I want an alliance I will with you. Hear what you have no. to say. Don't let me, because I want to be able to see what's going on out there. All right, let's move on to the next turn. So he's traveling underground. There's no way I want to intercept this. At least we can have a look at what he's got. So decline that attack. If he attacks us, there's no way he'll win. Welcome, friends of the Dowie. I refuse. 
I mean, you'd have to really offer me a lot of money to, to betray my own kin. 200 is nothing. Okay, so he definitely wants to make the attack here. But with this here, we'd be able to defend against him. Because, let's see, there's... How many is in there? There's 13 plus 4, so 17. And the towers would wreck, like, 5 battalions at the very least. And of course, we'd target their best units. But what else do I have in here? Because I might be giving my shit units. Let's have a look. So we've got... Long beards, dwarf warriors with great weapons, miners, there's a crap, some quarrelers with great weapons, yep, cannon, don't really know how good they would be because you can't really lob shots over the wall with a cannon. It is time. They might go straight for here or they might come through that way. Of course, you need to build this. Now, I want you to... Mm, if anyone comes through this way, we'd be able to see them. I want you to stand right here. That way, if he comes down this way, we can we can adjust ourselves wherever we need to, uh, wherever we need to go. I don't think we'll need that there. I can probably destroy that soon. Put it there instead. We could put something that you know get higher tier. We, we don't need ten public order. To look after the settlement. Even on legendary difficulty. Dwarves have very good infrastructure. Still be quicker going by sea also be safer. Okay, I've only got sight on this one here. I don't know where the other one went, but that one looks like it got beaten up. I want another agent to be able to look over here. Now, out of curiosity, can we get a peace treaty with the Greenskins? Now, I'd like to keep keep moving, but the problem is this settlement's not yet defensible. You know, what I might do with these guys is after we beat them, make my way to Mount Gunbad up this way, because I only need one stack. I'll have to put two loads of cannons, uh, not cannons, um, grudge throwers. Or why not I get cannons? The missile attack a bit, but let me have a look at this. Missile damage 90, armor piercing damage 270, as opposed to... It's the same reload time. 19.8 seconds. Same amount of ammunition. That's got more health though, but I'm not really too worried about that. But yeah, that does do more damage. Maybe I can get one of each. What are these here? Blasting charges. This is what Pixelated Apollo used against me to beat me when I assaulted him as the Empire. These things in a defensive siege, they are brilliant. They just blow the living shit, especially if they, you can funnel them all into one area, it just blows the living shit out of things. And the thing is, if we recruit any more units here, he might not make the attack. Now we kind of want them to make the attack. Alright. So, Iron Rock, what are we doing here? Don't worry about that right now. Just 
There's a little bit more growth to go. 11 more turns and then we can get this to level 5. And then of course when we get... Where is it? This here. Th uh, Throne Hall of the High King. That'll really improve our economy. Extra public order. Or extra experience. Extra lord recruit rank. Tax rate. Public order. It's all good. So we're right to move out. It's just a case of... This isn't defensible just yet. This is. The thing is, what he could do is burrow through here and get to there. But these two armies should be able to beat to beat this. I mean, the worst thing we could be up against here are the big guns. And he's got enough experience that, you know, these guys have gotten upgrades. Not to mention this one here will also have, you know, a decent garrison. Decent, it's more like it's okay. Just trying to see what else I can do. I've only got 2,000, so I probably can't build much. Right, I think I've made as much preparation as I can. Let's move on. Let's see what Grimgore does. We've already beaten him once. Okay, he's besieged the settlement. Now, it should take him quite a long time to actually starve us out. But I don't think he's going to do that. They usually do make this up. Five turns until we start taking attrition. I could send you over there, and you would certainly... Combined with these armies, could beat him. But of course, I don't want to leave this settlement here undefended. It's just got two more turns. It is a bit of a risk. Time for a reckoning. All right, I'm going to actually take that risk. I don't think that they've got any other forces around here. And if they did, we'd we'd see them coming. Why is there all this dirt over here? Or is it just graphics? Could have indicated someone was standing there. Maybe you should actually come up this way and keep an eye on this area deploy there. That way we get a much greater vision on what they're up to, which as you can see was nothing. My axe for war. So I do actually hope he makes the assault because that'll be quite fun to, uh, to wreck him there. So this will give us access to runesmiths and iron breakers and hammerers. I'm not really too fond of hammerers, I don't, didn't see them as that useful. Maybe they're just they're too early to make use of them yet. Alright, All right, so we finished this. Um, I really think I'm going to need better troops. Oh, then again, um, that's right. Yeah, we've gone all, all this and the enemy troops are starting to get better, so let's... Hmm. Missile damage for quarrelers units plus ten percent, that's a lot. Yeah, the crossbows, I kind of need them a bit more. Let's go with that. Damn, the techs for the dwarves are so much better than all the other factions. It's like better than all the other factions combined. It's a pretty defensible area here right in the corner of the map. But we we'll to go for just one province at a time. So we need Crooked, Fang Fort, and Dring... Oh god, don't even bother with that one. Fuck town. That's what it is. Good, let's build that up. So he's got no artillery, so he'll want to build some watch... Uh, not watch towers, siege towers. And if this gets to, like... Uh, what is it? If it gets down to like one turn before we run out of supplies, that's when we, we sally out to get him. Because if we start taking attrition, they'll take attrition pretty hard. Alright, let's go to diplomacy and see what we can do.
Deliver your message. Alright. That trade agreement's worth quite a lot to me, so let's... Let's see what we can do in exchange for it. Offer to join the war against Paravon. Oh, I'll try the other one instead. Greetings. Maybe they'll accept that. We may not that. be the Empire, but our realm has riches and strength in equal measure. No. Well, maybe I can trade with them if they hate us so much. But, you know, it's quite a distance to travel still. So only one of them's visible at the moment. Where'd the other one go? Maybe they got killed. I hope they did. The sooner they're gone, the better. They'll never be our friends. There's two armies unaccounted for out there. Generally speaking, the, these guys, they, they tend to just fizzle out and die. This was turned into a ruin. I think um, they had something to do with that. I don't know where my dwarven friend went. I think they're dead. <laughs> They're all dead. Good. And they'll never come back either. Okay. Your warriors range deep into hostile lands, but all is not well. There are dark omens. Alright, fuck. Uh, let's have a look here. Um, I don't care about that. I'm not paying them any money. I need, need the money for other things. Alright, so... Generally speaking, they usually besiege it for maybe three or four turns, so I'm not worried just yet. But we need to keep in mind, it will take you some time to get there in the first place. If you stand right here, you'll be able to burrow to here. Of course, he could intercept you. It's always a possibility, even though we're under siege. And if we, the thing is, his army would probably beat this one, if that was the case. If we were to force march our way up through here, how long would it take? The thing is, he might turn back around and fight us. Well, necessarily. It would take us three turns to get there. I think we should borrow if we're going to do it. See if you can borrow to there. Because we've got time to get there. Because if we come from here, we can... It's a lot easier, I suppose, than coming from this way. Because they could, they could get us from there. I think I'll build... Because uh, I want to destroy that there. Almost finished with the growth here. By the king's command. Dog's being particularly barky today. Public court here is good. Um, yeah, build this, I suppose. else here needs to be built. I mean, there's that, but I'm not recruiting from here just yet. No, definitely go with the improved Gem Cutters Guild Hall. More money. More money means more troops. The settlement here doesn't seem particularly well defended. Oops, wrong thing. Just click on the wrong thing. That one does. That's okay. Know how to handle that. Again, we can't leave until this turns to level three. I just can't risk it. All right, move on to the next turn. Turn about them, but that's okay. Do not 
sully my presence. Any yeah, you know what? I'll accept that. We lose a bit of our reliability because that's what we gained with the um, the Empire for their trade agreement. But you know, our reliability will replenish quite quickly. Both of these are exactly the same. supplies in three turns okay well I think I might end the episode here let me just see okay so we can burrow we can burrow straight to here and then probably make the attack on him next turn well not not right away because we want him to attack because that's to our advantage uh, but if we if he's just trying to starve us out then yeah we'll, we'll go for him Yeah, so anyway guys, that's the end of this episode, so like and subscribe, part 11 is next, and don't forget to visit me on Facebook. See you next time, fuckers.